Hi and thank you for tuning into this video about uh, how to create sites ma site maps using uh, uh, Go Mockingbird. Um, if you watch uh, watched last week's uh, video, uh, it was about uh, doing wireframes in in this uh, great tool called uh, Go Mockingbird, and uh, you can find it at GoMockingbird.com. Um, so uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you to all the people, uh, you know, uh, commenting, writing me, asking questions, uh, s such subscribing to my channel. Uh, uh, it it really uh, you know makes my engine run. So uh <laughs> thank you for doing that. And uh, I'm sorry if I'm a little stuffed up this uh, this week. I know I uh <laughs> I can be a little hard to understand uh, when. Uh when I I have a cold, but uh, hey, that's just how it is when you have a child uh, that is, uh, you know, one and a half years old. You uh, you tend to be uh, uh, stuffed up all the time. <laughs> so uh, enough of this. Uh, so let's get into the work here. Uh, I just want to show you uh, first of all uh, what I mean by doing a side map. This is a side map I did uh, recently for a, a client. And um, let's see if I can just uh, uh, group it here, and it is already already grouped up. Uh, one of the great features of uh, of Go Mockingbird is that you can group all your elements here, and uh, you know move them uh, at at once. Um, but this is how it's going to look, and uh, I'll go into details later. Uh, uh, why the uh, side map is, is structured like this? First of all, I just want to show you how I did the side map using Go Mockingbird, and so I'll start by going over here and uh, picking a a um, rectangle here, and you know you can make this any size that you want, uh, whatever makes you you know whatever fits your purpose. So I'll uh, make it a hundred by hundred, um, and just move this here. And it, this is really, really simple. So I just uh, pick up a text box here and uh, give it a value of uh, whoops, zero point zero, and and place it in my text box here. If I just I can move my text box using the uh, the arrow keys on my keyboard to get the uh, the, the most precise uh, positioning. Um, so I'll just um, and the only reason why I'm doing this is just to make it easier to uh, initially place the text. So I can pick up my text and just put it at a value of 70 by 70. That's perfect. And I'll just copy this uh, text box and I'll ju I just use, you know, uh, uh, Control C and Control V like you would in uh, any other pro program uh, or application, and this is the great thing about Go Mockingbird. It has all these uh, uh, great shortcut uh, key combinations. So this would be my homepage, and yeah, I'll just put my text up here and uh, place it where I. wanted so this is the uh, you know the first box uh, and I can group it together and uh, or I can log it or you know do whatever I want so this is just a uh, you know how uh, how how I would do it and you could use a lot of different programs and you could do use a lot of different shapes to illustrate um uh different kind of pages or, or whatever you want but but i th i think the you know the the simpler the better uh 
and especially if you were working you know as a freelancer as me as I do uh, this is a great way to to you know uh, show the uh, the client uh, how the structure of the website is going to be um, so just place these uh, uh, connecting lines to to connect the uh, the different elements and I'll just quickly go here go over here and show you the uh, the finish, finished finished uh, side map. So to start off, uh, just to to explain these numbers, the zero uh, zero dot zero uh, and one dot zero and two dot zero uh, actually um, is sort of just a a a numbering system for the pages to better uh, to make it easier to talk to talk about uh, different pages and. Uh, uh, as you see here, uh, it it just goes from uh, zero to uh, you know one two three four five, and if there is any uh, secondary pages or pages that uh, are uh, uh, underneath uh, one of the pages, it gets as here you can see. Whoops, there's an error here. I just I'll just fix that. Six point one uh, because it's a uh, you know a child of this page. So this page should be 6.1, and all the pages have names. Uh, this is my home page. This is where this is the landing page where people uh, usually um, land on the website. And from here, you know, we'll have a menu, and this menu will uh, give people the the possibility to reach the therapy page, the group page the mentorship page I should not mention uh, I w was doing this for a client who is a therapist so uh, that's why um, you know it looks like a therapist's website <laughs> um, the about page uh, the blog page uh, where you have the blog posts and uh, the the contact page and the reason for doing a uh, sitemap like like this is that, uh, as I said earlier, it is a great way to uh, to explain or to to illustrate the the uh, the, the infrastructure, the 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 information architecture to a client, and figure out which pages go where. And there are some simple rules to to follow when doing this. Um, I I I try never to uh, make any more uh, you know uh, 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 what do you call it uh, <laughs> uh, make any more levels than than the, um, a maximum of two. So uh, we have these pages and uh, I'll go below and and um, have a page here, but never uh, ever have uh, any uh, pages lying further down than this and. Uh, this is just because you know um, people tend to have a hard time uh, finding these pages and figuring out this uh, type of navigation. So you know if people have to click more than once or twice to uh, to find something, it's it's uh, it's not really a great navigation system. So try to keep this in mind. And also you know if uh, when you try to to uh, to figure out which pages go first in the line of the 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 the, the main menu, uh, you can use use this way to structure uh, your content. You know that is, uh, you know you you just don't place the the pages and the the menu structure uh, randomly. You figure out which content is most important. And you place this in the in in the line of uh, succession, or you know, af uh, figuring out how uh, uh, how important this, these pages are, and 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 placing them uh, according to this. Uh <laughs> I hope that made a little sense. Uh, but as I said, really important, and uh, keep in mind that uh, you know uh, this is not really the 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 diagram of the menu stru structure but in some ways it is that uh, uh, keep in mind that you have a as, as simple as possible menu structure so um, primarily only five main uh, uh, main menu uh, 
links and you can have uh, you know secondary menus or drop down menus to do those uh, too but one of the interesting things that we talked about when uh, when uh, looking at this sitemap with uh, with my client uh, we talked about well uh, she doesn't really have that much uh, content so we talked about you know uh, putting the uh, therapy the groups and the mentorship uh, content and uh, you know merging those together and putting them on on one page one larger page so um you know we could just uh, delete out all of this to illustrate this um and of course i would have to to just change some things around and just call this therapy or get it give it a in another name that would would be more uh, descriptive um, and you know change all these numbers to uh, to k to keep up the the system and and keep it consistent and you know this way just by doing something like this uh, you you suddenly get a a much simpler structure to your website and uh and and that's uh, in my mind al always what you want to be going for and when you go back and have to add something to to your website you know in in, in the backlog for this website or the 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 the, the task list for this backlog uh, uh, website sorry uh, there's a lot more content uh uh, on the way but uh, this is what we're starting with and this is a great way to to you know figure out where uh, are the uh, future content going to be where is it going to be in in the context uh, context of this uh, sitemap um, so that's it for sites sitemaps uh, and I I, uh, I really hope uh, I uh, I got some of my points through as always if you have any questions or comments uh, feel free to uh, to type them in the uh, comment section below and if you have any questions you know regarding uh, w what you're working on you know if you want to to uh, uh, t t me to give some comments on, on on what you're doing feel free to to email me or uh, or contact me you can contact connect with me on uh, facebook and twitter and I'm always happy to uh, to answer any uh, questions or, or comments. Um, so don't be a stranger. See you later. Bye.